Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we'll discuss transformations using matrices. Now, in our earlier session, we had discussed about translation and dilation of figures using matrices. In this session, we'll continue it by discussing reflection and rotation of geometric figures on a coordinate plane using matrices. First of all, let us discuss reflection. Now, reflection is a transformation that creates a symmetry on the coordinate plane. And we know in a reflection, the pre-image is reflected through the line of reflection. Now, we will see how we can reflect a geometric figure in x-axis, y-axis and in the line y is equal to x using matrices. First of all, let us discuss reflection in x-axis. Now to reflect any figure in x-axis on a coordinate plane, we multiply the vertex matrix by the matrix with elements in first row as 1, 0 and elements in second row as 0, minus 1 and we get the vertices of the reflected image from the matrix obtained. Now let us discuss reflection in y-axis. Now to reflect any figure in y-axis on a coordinate plane, we multiply the vertex matrix by the matrix with elements in first row as minus 1, 0 and elements in second row as 0, 1 and we get the vertices of the reflected image from the matrix obtained. Now let us discuss reflection in the line y is equal to x. Now to reflect any figure in the line y is equal to x on a coordinate plane, we multiply the vertex matrix by the matrix with elements in first row as 0, 1 and elements in second row as 1, 0 and we get the vertices of the reflected image. Now in this table you can see when we have to reflect a geometric figure in x-axis on a coordinate plane, then we multiply the vertex matrix on the left by this matrix, that is the matrix with elements in first row as 1, 0 and elements in second row as 0, minus 1. Similarly, to reflect a geometric figure in y-axis and in the line y is equal to x, we multiply the vertex matrix on the left by these matrices respectively. Now suppose we have a triangle ABC with vertices A having coordinates 1, 2, B with coordinates 3, 4 and C with coordinates 2, minus 1 and we are going to reflect it in the line y is equal to x. Now first of all, 
Let us write its vertex matrix. Now, in vertex matrix, in first row, we'll write x coordinates of all the vertices and in second row, we'll write y coordinates of all these vertices. So, this is the matrix with elements in first row as 1, 3 and 2 and elements in second row as 2, 4 and minus 1. Now we have to reflect it in the line y is equal to x. So, we will multiply the vertex matrix by this matrix. So let us multiply the vertex matrix on the left by the matrix with elements in first row as 0, 1 and elements in second row as 1, 0. Now, taking this row, that is first row and first column of first matrix and second matrix respectively, we will get the first element of the first row of resultant matrix which will be 0 into 1 plus 1 into 2 then we will take first row of first matrix and second column of second matrix and we will obtain second element of the first row of resulting matrix which will be 0 into 3 plus 1 into 4. Now next we will take first row of first matrix and third column of second matrix and we will obtain third element of the first row of resulting matrix which will be 0 into 2 plus 1 into minus 1. Now we will take second row of first matrix and first column of second matrix and here we have 1 into 1 plus 0 into 2. Then we take second row of first matrix and second column of second matrix and here we have 1 into 3 plus 0 into 4 and then again we take second row of first matrix and third column of second matrix and here we have 1 into 2 plus 0 into minus 1. Further on simplifying this is equal to matrix with elements in first row as 0 plus 2, 0 plus 4, 0, minus 1 and elements in second row as 1 plus 0, 3 plus 0 and 2 plus 0. Further this is equal to matrix with elements in first row as 2, 4 and minus 1 and elements in second row as 1. 3 and 2. Now this resultant matrix will give us vertices of the reflected image of triangle ABC. So we have a reflected image of triangle ABC that is triangle A dash, B dash, C dash with vertices A dash with coordinates 2, 1 then B dash with coordinates 4, 3 and C dash with coordinates minus 1, 2. Now on this coordinate plane you can see this is the original triangle A, B, C. Now let us plot these points 
on the coordinate plane. Now when we plot these points on the coordinate plane, we get triangle A dash, B dash, C dash, which is the reflected image of triangle A, B, C in the line Y is equal to X. Similarly, we can reflect the image in X and Y axis by multiplying the vertex matrix using these matrices. Now let us discuss rotation. Now a rotation is a transformation that turns a figure about a fixed point called center of rotation. Now we see how can we rotate a pre-image at an angle of 90 degrees, 180 degrees and 270 degrees about origin in counterclockwise direction using matrices. Now, if we have to rotate a geometric figure at an angle of 90 degrees about origin in counterclockwise direction, then we multiply the vertex matrix by the matrix with elements in first row as 0, minus 1 and elements in second row as 1, 0 and we get the vertex matrix of the rotated image from it we determine the vertices of the image points. Now, if we have to rotate a geometric figure at an angle of 180 degrees about origin in counterclockwise direction, then we multiply the vertex matrix by the matrix with elements in first row as minus 1, 0 and elements in second row as 0, minus 1. And we obtain the vertex matrix of the rotated image. Now if we have to rotate a geometric figure at an angle of 270 degrees about origin in counterclockwise direction, then we multiply the vertex matrix by the matrix with elements in first row as 0, 1 and elements in second row as minus 1, 0 and we obtain the vertex matrix of the rotated image Now from this table you can see when angle of rotation is 90 degrees, 180 degrees and 270 degrees then we multiply the vertex matrix on the left by these matrices respectively. Now if we have to rotate this triangle that is triangle ABC at an angle of 90 degrees about origin in counterclockwise direction Now its vertex matrix will be matrix with elements in first row as 1, 3, 2 and elements in second row as 2, 4, minus 1. Now to rotate this triangle at an angle of 90 degrees about origin in counterclockwise direction, we multiply the vertex matrix on the left by this matrix. That is, we will multiply the vertex matrix by the matrix with elements in first row as 0, minus 1 and elements in second row as 1, 0. Now, on multiplying these two matrices, we get a matrix with elements in first row as 0 into 1 plus of minus 1 into 2. Then, 0 into 3 plus of minus 1 into 4 and 0 into 2 plus of 
minus 1 into minus 1. Then we have elements in second row as 1 into 1 plus 0 into 2. Then 1 into 3 plus 0 into 4. And 1 into 2 plus 0 into minus 1. And on simplifying, we obtain matrix with elements in first row as minus 2, minus 4 and 1. And elements in second row as 1, 3 and 2. So the vertices of the rotated image are A dash with coordinates minus 2, 1. B dash with coordinates minus 4, 3 and C dash with coordinates 1, 2. Now let us plot these points on the coordinate plane. So we have plotted these points on the coordinate plane and when we join these points we get triangle A dash, B dash, C dash which is the rotated image of triangle ABC. So, when triangle ABC is rotated at an angle of 90 degrees about origin in counterclockwise direction, we get triangle A dash, B dash, C dash as its rotated image. Similarly, we can rotate the image by 180 degrees and 270 degrees about origin in anti-clockwise direction using these matrices. So in this session we have discussed translations using matrices. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.